Take two. <laughs> hey guys, how are you all doing today? Um, yeah, so welcome back. Welcome back with another review. See, it is well, it's 15 minutes to upload time, and I had a video ready, and it's semi decent. It's not my best, so I decided, you know what? I'm just actually going to make a proper thing. I'm going to take my extra time, make this good, and hopefully useful for you guys uh, as well. I've learned a lot even just trying a new place up. I am not, just for the information of everyone, I've already made a few streams where I did stream Ikit Fall and I showed you how I start him off and what I do, etc. But um, when I was looking up for this video, I noticed that there is a cheese mechanism that you can do where you are around turn 10, you have basically a tier 4 settlement and a tier 4 Skaven Blight where you are Basically, tier four escape my turn turn is just absolutely insane. I've just tested it out. I've managed to do it um, more or less, um, even though it was a little bit messy. I made some mistakes, etc., etc., etc. But now I've learned from those mistakes and I come back stronger. We're gonna go through all the entire process yet again, even though I've recorded previous one, uh, which I was also very rudely interrupted by a couple of people knocking the door, neighbors. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. So. Uh, Ikit Club, we've spoken a bit about him yesterday and uh, just, you know, two minutes in trying to summarize a character like Chief Work at Ikit Club is just absolutely insane. So I would really recommend go read his Wikipedia page and just be boggled how amazing the character is and the story behind him and everything, behind Skaven in general. You do start with your um, Belequit Masquik, um, who at this time is determined. That's actually semi-decent trait we're gonna throw him inside the army but not just now um, you do want at least two warlock engineers because warlock engineers do give you bonus to movement and the other thing that you really want with them is arms dealer triangulation and ballistics instructor ballistic instructor gives you 10 percent range triangulation gives you a total of 12 percent more missile damage having two of them that's 24 um, extra damage and then you can get up to 40 percent ammunition with two of them for the army, which means you never run out. Another thing about ammunition you guys need to know is the first thing you do, Forbidden Workshop, Weapons Team, Onboard Capacitors. Yes, you will be tempted, okay? You will be tempted to get the Doom Rocket. Don't get, you already have one, you don't need more. Doom Rockets are really cool and everything, and we will use one, I swear to God. We'll find a way to use it, at least killing three or four units. But in this scenario, in this particular scenario, we don't need it and uh, we're gonna run through all of it i'm gonna start fighting we're gonna bully astalia down maybe even get good old um uh, tilia to attack astalia it happened in the last one i didn't catch it on i was just dumbfounded now first things first i want to check some not this i want to check something right uh we are very high oh yeah, this, is, the, the, this didn't used to be there, but now they added it in and we're going to bully the hell out of Beastmen. Their non-aggression pact is going to be a pain in the ass, uh, but we're going to break it up with them and we're going to farm them because we need food and the Beastmen, they're damn good food, right? Now, a mistake I did in the first one was I did not build the first buildings that I need. The first building that you need is uh, Ferocious Plans and Driven by Hunger. These are really important, especially... Well, you know, we always need these. So you build those up and it will help you. Um, so we're gonna build, the only building we're gonna build is Rattling Warrens, I believe. It, it is Rattling Warrens. Yes, Rattling Warrens. We're gonna build Rattling Warrens. Don't worry, the growth will stay there uh, even after the city is blown up. Jesus Christ, there you go. Uh, but we're not gonna upgrade Skaven Blight. That's the only money we're gonna invest in Skaven Blight, right? We're gonna get Ikid Claw. And he's gonna come here and oh my god, nowhere they're gonna own us. Wait, 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 let's let's fix the balance of power a bit. Uh if the game decides to stop lagging. Um let's put this guy in. Uh why do you put him in now? Sometimes the game lags or glitches out when you put a unit back in. Like uh, uh Warplug Engineer. It just reduces your movement range to zero, so this just basically fixes that and we're just gonna fight this fight this is gonna be a really easy fight we're gonna teach you the basics of rattling gun technology as well as warplug jazails they are fantastic units and they will do a lot of damage even simba agrees as he is cleaning his foot after slaughtering thousands of skaven in his dreams don't just see simba yeah he agrees and now moving forward slightly and slowly and we should uh, load up i will 
cut away most of the loading streams if I when I remember. Editing will be spontaneous. But to be honest, this is how you want your army to be. Yeah, let's let's put these guys there. And you guys got here and ooh, that way. It's pretty much how the army should be and uh, start battle. And yeah, pretty much just fast forward. Distract as much as possible with your uh, boys over here. There. And come into the rear and charge. Oh, they stopped our charge. And charge into these guys. Now, Ikitko also gets the Brass Orb, which is a beautiful, beautiful item that basically stops units in there walking and you couple it with a little bit of magic and you're just gonna get absolute devastation and just yeah the units are already breaking and it's it's fantastic uh you shoot at that you shoot at that and you just attack that please slow them down as long as we don't lose anything we should be fine um there should break they're not breaking, that's rare. They made it to our battle lines. And now they're breaking. Yeah, they broke, they did some damage, and these guys are breaking as well. And Ikid Claw is farting green stuff. Ooh, that's not healthy. You run after them. Jesus. You are. Oh, well, oh, you have a jetpack. Oh, damn. And army losses? No army losses? And bye-bye. They died fast. Um, shoot at these, and that should end the fights. Uh, did we take? We didn't take any losses. That's good for us. Uh, we did take some damage though. That's not good. I swear to God, I had the perfect like four or five fights at the other video. Uh, it was a pain in the ass though. So you, this city is going to be very heavily bullied by the Skaven for the next five or six so turns as we force a rebellion to come onto our own territory. And uh, yep, it's going to be a really, really good um, food source for the hungry hunger skip. I said I was going to skip these, and I did not. Ah, linksy, 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 linksy. I won't be showing all the turns though. That's something for sure, because there will be some turns where we just be repeating the same thing over and over again. If something does happen, that is out of the blues because this is on legendary difficulty and legendary difficulty means that there will be interesting scenario steal things all things we have turned that settlement into a pile of dust we will move over here and we will recruit one two and three we don't really want anything other than slaving sla skaven slaves now we also want oh beautiful we get a knowledgeable lord, that's perfect. Uh, we want to recruit a lord and we will put him on raiding and we will do so again next turn and the turn after. And we're basically gonna have a bunch of lords raiding for us into our settlement, making sure our rebellion happens faster. As you can see, there is a number of stuff happening, but we will figure it out. Also, you want food, so you put the food. I do believe this is everything we should be building, but... Uh, could be wrong as well and uh yeah that's that's all you need for the first turn the um beast boys should be coming down here as well and we'll fight them down and assign skill and increased mobility we need to be fast and we need to be furious so next time we're gonna have a lot of increased mobility which is essentially what we want uh mobility means you fast and you move around um uh, and act around a bit better Tomorrow, it's yeah, you know, it's a sex city. It will give us experience. We should our third term should be around uh, nine, ten levels. Um, as predicted, the beastmen came, and we're gonna kill the beastmen next. Now, the good thing about the beastmen is they suck. They're really, really, really bad. 
Um, so we're gonna get a lot of good food out of them. We need 100 food, uh, 110 food to not get completely, you know, hungry. Now, if we do somehow manage to get 120, which is really difficult, because uh, you need to capture, uh, yeah, people are gonna, ooh, yeah, people are gonna hate us now. But uh, for the, yeah, just there's no even point in fighting that um, food. And that's all we want. We're already going up in food, and that's good. Um, you go in raiding, and that's gonna increase the speed that is gonna happen. And disciplined. Oh wow, this is costing us a lot of money, more than it should. But the raiding is gonna make the rebellion happen faster, and essentially that's what you want. Speed is your best friend. Now, we did get Root Marcher, but what we want now is Ancient Cunning. Ancient Cunning, we can get up 30 ambush suggestions. It means almost every time we attack, we'll be ambushed. We'll manage to ambush. Reload time reduction, and this is possibly another Outer Resolve. You don't really get that many on Legendary, but here you go. We have another Outer Resolve, and we are barely losing any troops we're losing scaven slaves but we should be able to replenish them over the end turn we're gonna sack again and look how much food we also get some warp fuel and uh, you should be able to come here and lucky us we can raid and uh, that is really going to push this up further because the rebellion is going to happen much faster now uh, raiding while increasing getting surplus replenishment is really good this guy is going to slow that process down by being just there being a pain in the ass but that's absolutely fine settlement upgrade we do not touch it but we do get the technology and we do get ferocious plants because we do need the replenishment rates uh, sorry the armies to be built really quickly we're on turn two we are one-fifth of the way towards a rebellion plus or minus and we are you know doing well with regards to food we're almost already there we just need i think it's uh, 90 to get the escape of to tier 4 and that would be great oh arms dealer Ooh, ammunition yes and he gets another uh bonus there and and turn and that is the end of turn two we're getting the streamlined boys and girls we're getting the streamlined um no thank you we are having problems with regards to reliability that is something you need to keep in mind there is another way to do this and that is to just you know take out uh, astalia and just fight to all your way up there and take out merlango that i need to make you know clear this is just uh, a fun way of getting tier 4 really early on you're still going to get hated by pretty much everyone else including the skaven so it's going to be fine and once you kill uh you're gonna be fine in general so we get that and then we get driven by hunger which just is really not something we want but we want always uh, more besides so this basically gives you the five percent extra replenishment and that's really good you don't really need scaven slaves so just skip that and then just go up to the menace below up here if you can unlock it i'm not sure you, you need some special building to unlock it uh no to take everything you need to have I am not sure. Can you? Oh yeah, you can unlock that. And then you need a special building for the Plague Priests. Which is annoying. Um, wait, did I? No. There. Jeez. Okay. Uh, raiding. Uh, and we're getting a crap ton of food. You raid as well. And that's... Yeah, that's basically just getting the rebellion done faster. And... Uh, well you come over here you're gonna burn this down and you're gonna sack and voila we are uh, very close to the food we need and geez, this movement range is beautiful this is gonna be a pain oh are you this is what I meant, he was gonna possibly do that, but that's fine. We got two more of these, and we got one, two more of those, and that will basically bring our army up slightly in a better position, and finish Ancient Cunning. We're turn three, he's already level five. 
right? We already are kind of ambushed pretty much everything. They are going to be building an army, and that's something you need to be aware of. The rebellion should happen in how many turns? Three turns. And that means that there will be an assault in six-ish turns. These guys, they're really good. We have... I mean, he's five. That's fine. And he's five as well. They're very good lords, knowledgeable and disciplined. And having them this early on is, you know, a good bank for the future. We are not making that much money. It's going to be fine. Uh, we'll make the money through basically the raiding and the killing of Tabarro. And now they will send an army that I'm sure about. And, and also Kasrix is going to come down on us like a sack of bricks. Which we will then clearly show him who's boss by killing him properly and fully till the end of time. Tyrants with Black Ocean. Royalty low. What? Ooh. We might have to kill that one. And you come over here. And you kill that once again. Sack. And... It be doing that basically gives you a level per turn for a while, which is really good. So, um, I mean, Draftmaster helps you recruit faster, uh, which is cool and all. And you could go down this way, but I'm gonna actually get him warp lightning. You could get power armor and then yeah, this is the, wait, double insulation jetpack and get him this and eventually going to second wind serum, which is just absolutely mental. But this will be really useful as this will make warp lightning slightly cheaper. And update upgrading it twice, warp lighting is really good on um, good old Ikit Clover here. And you get Arms Dealer now, although you do have that no, mobility. There you go. Uh, raiding, that's fine. And you. No, I, I got damn it. Can I? No, that's into the sea. Christ, man. Okay, uh, just come over here and go ambush. Because anything that goes down there will now get attacked. Pain in the ass, that guy. And you... I'm actually going to move you up that way. Because I want the rebellion to occur here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, settlement upgrade. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The rebellion is going to happen in two turns, and turn. Now at this point, um, I'm probably going to just uh, cut it. Uh, actually, best I do. I'll, I'll cut and, you know, piece together the story as it goes along. Uh, skipping the waiting times. I'll explain also at the end what the wasting time... Wasting time. Waiting time is and if there are any big battles that are happening any decisions that need to be taken but these are the major decisions you needed to take in the first three or four turns you want to capture to borrow the turn before like honestly the turn before scaven blight is put under siege and you will know that because the army will be almost up um he has finally given up on the trying to defend to borrow and that's mostly because well how many times are you going to lose something before you give up we are almost at full food, and that means, uh, with regards to money, we're not really doing that well. But I kind of am going to disband this boy, because we don't need... Uh, if I disband that boy? Yeah. Wait, let's do it like this. We're still going to get a rebellion, so... He goes away, we get a little bit of food, uh, extra money, and yeah. Still turn five, we're getting the rebellion done, uh, but we're nowhere nearly done. You go back into ambush and prepare for the fight of your life, uh, which might not come. And that's it. They, mm, they're not sending an army up yet, but that should be fine. We have five over there, so come over here and get uh, red eye scopes. Uh, why are these important? It just basically increases the army penetration of the Jezails and gives you incendiary rounds, which when you give them to the uh, rattling guns, they just, you know, become better. Rebellion imminent, and that is what we want to see. I kind of want to keep the disciple guy, but I'm also tempted to just throw him away and get him killed, because I don't want a rebellion from him. 
Like at the same time, if he rebels, that's absolutely fine. Um, rebellions are great early on in the campaign and you just get a lot of levels. You need to Ikitlo at level 20, 25 and then you're pretty much streamrolling through the area. And doing that in the first 10 turns, it's just really good. I said I was gonna cut, but you know, I just kept talking because oh, so much shit is happening. All right, so the rebellion is here. I'm gonna cut till the rebellion is fighting Skaven Blight and I'm gonna keep uh, Tobaro being warp. Yes, you, yes, yes, you will get more warp stuff. Till Tobaro is basically just a smoldering ruin and we captured it. And then we will capture Skaven Blight. And uh, yeah. And uh, in turn nine, they finally attacked. The rebellion came, it built up slowly, took their sweet time to attack. We did secure to borrow, and that's good for us. Um, we do have a bit of money loss, but that's fine. And even financially, we could have been much more money if we didn't have these armies, but then these armies sped up the process. If you don't have these two armies that I built, you probably will do this at turn 15. Anyway, now what do we do? Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do? No, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna die, no. <laughs> okay, we've lost Game of Blight, oops. But, but, and this is the but. Uh, it's Game of Blight. They don't expect the Spanish Inquisition. And we can settle it at tier four, right? Tier four. For 2500 gold which we have our army is weak so they might attack again which is not the best of ideas but we can come we ambush this army please ambush come on for a fact oh we didn't ambush it that's fine and we can fight this and fighting this we get do six of the minus blows which is fun duplicatastic and well, since we have a warp stone doom rocket, guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Murder, that kill. Murder, kill, kill, that, that. This is going to be the last fight of the uh, well, tutorial. Um, if you wait oh, over the enter and escape, the rebel army vanishes, but it is a really good source of food and experience. Um, Astalia didn't attack, which is rare, because they always send a second army around this time. They could be just sending it now, because they did start um, raiding, so it's absolutely possible that's going to happen. Um, but um, you know, our tail is definitely yours. Uh, you do come here, and you come... Apparently, that is a blocked off area, which is good for us. But it could mean that they will go up that way. And clan rats, you stay there. You get away from the rattling boys you right away. And we should be able to run over most of them with the Doom Flare, especially the Night Runners with slings, which are really strong. Uh, not as strong as what we have, but yeah. And uh, let's get the party rolling. Shoot them down. Storm Vermin at this level, uh, they're not going to do much. But, I mean, they're still Storm Vermin compared to what they have. It's really good. Uh, oh, there's a Warlock Engineer. Wait, wait, wait. What? There, we get another Warlock Engineer. And, yeah. Firing is happening. You cast that there. You do some damage there. Uh, summon that thing there and the run. They shouldn't really get that far, especially with the rattling guns. They should melt everything. Yeah, I mean these are basic clan rats, not even clan rats with shields. They're not. I mean, yeah, Skaven slaves are not gonna do much better, but you know, our Skaven slaves are a bit shite. That's we've much we've established. And all of this is coming to attack there. These guys are dying. You could go in and... So, where do we use the Doom Rockets? Is there a place I can use the Doom Rockets without killing half of my guys?
I mean... Seems that's where we're using the Doom Rockets. Thought I'd get a better opportunity, but seems not. Go kill the Night Runners and... Oh, what the hell. Good old Dickets. I mean, we love Wicked Claw, as just as any other man, and he loves his technologies. Beautiful. That's always beautiful to see. And Wicked Claw is absolutely fine, just FYI, just so anyone who questions. Our poor, uh, poor guy isn't doing that well, but that's fine. Our army back here is just having a stroll through that. It doesn't matter if that army dies, by the way. We do get that. Uh, it shoots in there. And uh, skitter then leap. They're almost dead. He is almost dead. And I think we can shoot at that with positivity that we're going to end them. The rebellion is getting beaten back. And our front line here is kind of falling down. It's not good. Uh, shoot that there. They're breaking. Where? Jeez. Oh, yeah. They. They. They're really not having a good time. Kill that. That is running away. These guys are running away. Mask of fear and all. You are shooting at that. Clannards with shields. Yeah. Definitely was close. We barely took any damage. And you go there. You come down this way because they are going to try and come around. Okay, I need you to, to come down back. And you actually to do that. Quick, quick, move, move, fast, fast. Took some damage to our Skaven boys, but... Shoot at that. Uh, you guys are doing decent damage, and that should, ooh, yeah, their morale should be breaking. Army losses are any second at this point, and there they are. Army losses, victory goes for the Skaven Blights, and, actually, where is Skaven Blights? And battle. Yeah, we didn't lose any of the important stuff, which is these two, these guys, and this is just so full health. We didn't lose any models. Uh, Trin didn't die, that's good. Uh, though I should be able to disband him now. He might beat six, which is fine. Uh, even five is fine if you disband him, five loyalty. If they go down to four loyalty, they might cause a rebellion, because uh, they're disloyal rats that deserve their tail to be cut cut. But we should be fine with regards to that. We have a tier 4 Skaven Blight on turn 10. Holas Kings. Uh, you're gonna die. Why did I say Holas Kings? Hell is getting into my head. Skinks are getting into my head. I am a rat. I'm not a skink. I must think. Think smart smart. BB. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Alright. Uh, yeah, that should be dead. We will take food and ooh, can can we actually fight again is it possible no it's not it's not possible to fight again um this guy does level up um we will remove the potion of speed we will remove breeder you are disciplined we will get you back in later on but uh for now you are disbanded and it goes in there. Now, what do you build in Skaven Blight? So many slots, right? So you want that, right? That's number one. So that's the first thing. From here, you don't really want anything. Then you want all three of these. Uh, sorry, all those two. You want that. And you want uh, this. You still have some money. Building this won't hurt. And that's pretty much all your budget. I mean, if you want to go for the Warp Storm Reactor, that's also good. Um, for this list, uh, level in the game. We will get 1,600 gold per turn. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys will stay, but they should disband the public orders down to zero. So it's great. 
Uh, another thing you could do is to make sure you have money. There will be another brilliant here as well, but that's beside the point. Um, to make sure you have money is and a bit of public order. So I don't think we need, so we already have ferocious response. So essentially we don't need that, but neither do we need the rubbish pit for now because we want the taskmaster. The taskmaster is pressing the wrong button. Taskmaster gives us rootless plans and harsh production, harsh production quotas is what we really want. So if you want to not get the salvage pits, you can, but it's not really going to cost you anything because that is how many gold? That's 200 gold. That's just like legitimately the cheapest thing you can get. And it does give you a little bit of recruitment surplus. So yeah, here you are sitting at a comfy, comfy uh, level. Um, ballistics calibration, that is very important. Yeah, your Ikid Claw is almost turned a level nine. You are sitting comfortably for the sake of nice crisp 10. We will place this. We did, by the way, you guys did not need to use that um, Doom Rocket. I just use it for, you know, <laughs> theatrics, if you will. I recommend not to use that. Don't any of these fight need a warp, uh, warp bomb. Um, sorry, uh, Doom Rocket. War bombs you need, uh, but Doom Rockets no. Simply because it does does not make a, any point in having it uh, used in that fight. That was a ridiculously easy fight to begin with, and it would only have taken us maybe five more seconds without using it. But you know, you get the opportunity to use one, use it like that. It's, oh, they rip up! Oh, beautiful. Bless their souls. As I said, turn 10. We're going to close it with extermination of more vermin. And that should put us in the yellow, which is... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. We're in the yellow. Uh, it's going to keep much. But, frankly speaking, turn 10. S tier 4 scheme of light you're building uh, construction caverns which give you plague claw catapults you're building pox cauldrons which give you plague monks and a plague priest you are in a comfy ass position Ikiko is ter level 9 you oh by the way I, I, I put some warp lightning mask of fear because that does help uh, but I'm going to put Luther because he's going to be destroying a lot of settlements now you are free to do what you want now what do you do from here you recruit two rattling guns, two work log jazails after you bully Tilia a little bit more. Tilia seems to have been beaten back there, but that, that will. F oh, it's not Tilia, it's Talia. You can go to war with Tilia and take uh, Miralango and Lucini, wipe them off the map, and get the entire core for yourself. Then be understanding uh, that Sartosa will attack you. The border princes will be interested. Um, Broken Nose are also going to be interested in fighting you, so maybe put off fighting Tilia for a while. Uh, killing Margrita is not really going to cost you much. Just bully Bibaldi to hell and back. Never really take it till you are prepared to fight Cascasson, which is up here. But when you fight Cascasson, you're going to open yourself to the bloody wood elves. So, yeah, lots of things to do. Lots of uh, warp stone to collect. Lots of food to harvest. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it was useful. If you do want to suggest the next one, please send me a message right in the comments below and uh, i'll try to do it i usually put a two minute video of the legendary lord a bit of their history where they're starting etc and warhammer and then i do the first uh quote unquote five turns but i have to do it 10 turns for skaven because skaven is a little bit of extra love guys hope you have a lovely day take care and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye da, 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 da. <laughs> say goodbye simba bye